Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm Chris with M7 Metalworks. Got a new project in the shop today I'm pretty excited about. Uh, got a little picture of it here on the board. I'll, I'll zoom you in on that. Um, just a little background on um, how this project came to be. And, and if you don't want to hear this part, just skip forward to the knife making and you can enjoy some of that. But some of you guys I know are interested in this type of thing. But um, I uh, ended up putting my one of my knives in a um, auction, what we call a silent auction at my workplace. And um, so the CEO of my workplace actually won the auction. And he's actually the one that convinced me to put the knife on. So. Um, I, hated, I hate doing a, a knife on an auction when I haven't actually made the knife. You know, that puts a lot of pressure on me. But uh, he, he assured me it would be okay. And so I'm going to make a knife for him. He's wanting a Skinner knife. This is something I haven't made before. So uh, I've done a little bit of drawing on my chalkboard. It allows me to be able to erase really easy and kind of, um, you know, do a little creative um, drawing on that. So hopefully I've got this right. Um, I'll zoom in on the uh, picture here that I've got on the chalkboard and then what I, I've got here is I've already drawn this on a piece of paper and cut it out so we're going to look at cutting it out with the plasma cutter and, um, and get us a blank started and then of course I'll put it in the forge and, and uh, start forging it out. There'll be some changes. I have no doubt this won't be exactly as it comes out uh, on paper or on this chalkboard. Um, this is just to give me a frame of reference to something I'm kind of shooting for, the, a, a certain look that I'm looking for. And so um, that's kind of why I've done some of this. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm pretty excited, like I said. And so uh, stick around. Uh, I'm sure there'll be some mistakes made. I'm not a professional, um, but I enjoy it. And generally when you do something that you enjoy, it's you do a pretty good job. And so hopefully you'll like this. Okay guys, as promised, here's just kind of a, uh, a close-up of that uh, drawing on the, for the knife. Um, I'm sure I'll change a few things. I'm actually considering um, right here at the tip, just kind of doing a little bit of a recurve and just bringing that point just slightly higher to give me a little recurve on the back. And so I don't know exactly how I'll do it, but I, I do think I am going to put just a bit more recurve in that. So uh, let's get started. I'm gonna see if I can get a little recurve in that. So this is kind of how I'm doing it. I think you'll get the drift here shortly. You can see how lifting that point just gives me just a little bit more of a slope and I'll refine that a little bit more I think as we go. here guys is I'm trying to 
trying to refine my edges just a little bit. I'm going to thin all this up at some point, but um, you know, using that plasma cutter, it'll cut a little bit on the edge, and I'm not the greatest with a plasma cutter anyways. And all of this is going to get thinned out eventually as well and flattened. But um, just trying to refine my edges a little bit, maybe um, get my finger wells Figure it out just a little bit more defined. And then what I'll do is I'll start working on the blade and um, compacting that steel and spreading that out just a little bit. I like my blades, I like my blades pretty heavy spined. I like a thick spine on my blades. And um, so I, I won't thin it out tons, but I will thin it out some. Really in this case, I'm just trying to define my spine. I got just a little hump here. I got a little wild with the plasma cutter. I'm just trying to get that right there taken care of. I'm continuing to do, just try to define my edge. It would have to be hard, hard blows. Here. Just trying to get my the spine of the knife defined just a little bit better. Get something that's a little more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so I'm going to start hitting it with some more significant blows. The thing I want to do here, and I hope, hope you can see my face. The thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that I'm starting to now spread the blade of the knife out and actually work that steel out to give it a little bit more of a belly in the knife. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. So you'll notice now the blades I'll work from the spine toward the blade. And you notice I'm hitting with a lot more force because I want to bring that steel to the blade. And at the end, I'd like to have ultimately a nice taper from here to the point.
Okay, folks, so right here is what I was kind of trying to mimic. And so that's what I used to cut my template out, my blank. And now you can see this is what I've got, the finished product after forging. And um, it's pretty straight, so that's, you know, that's a big um, part of it, making sure it's straight. And giving, I, I wanted to give this a pretty good belly. I do think I'm going to do something right through here and then probably um, change the angle here. I'm going to put this on top and just kind of give you an idea of how much that forging changes it. Now remember, I used the plasma cutter and cut out basically the exact shape of this. Um, and so you can see this belly has gotten bigger and quite a bit more right here. And that's from um, fanning out that blade and thinning it out if you notice all right if you notice it's quite a bit thinner here and then you see the spine get in here just a little bit you can see the spine as it tapers Okay, quite the difference now. I've just uh, chopped that top half off. And so, um, much more pleased with the look now. So this is something I can definitely work with. And uh, it's got a lot more aesthetic appeal to it. And um, so, We'll look to refine it from here.